How's it going guys and gals? This is Edwin Warrior you here and welcome back to Fire Emblem the Blazing Blade part 13? Yeah, yeah, that's part 13. Uh, yeah, that's that's how you know how long it's been since I've last done uh, done anything on my Fire Emblem uh, Let's Plays. My LPs kind of took a hiatus after I kind of jump started with like Advanced Wars by Web and um, uh, some Apex streams, but uh I'm back with these. Uh, been feeling a little bit of a Fire Emblem. Feel like I owe it to you guys to uh, uh, get this train rolling again. So um, let's move on to Chapter 12, Birds of a Feather. After speaking with the village magistrate, Elliewood and company set their sights on Laos. The road from Fare to Laos passes through Santorus. Elliwood suspects his missing father must have visited Santa Cruz en route to Ostia. Elliwood arranges a meeting with the local ruling lord to see what he can learn. Chapter 12, Birds of a Feather. What? Elliwood is here? Yes. He has set camp on a hill south of here. He seeks permission to enter Santa Cruz. He seeks an audience with you. Could it be? Do you think Elliwood's come to ask of his father? If that's the case, I... I know not what to tell him. Tell him you know nothing and let him be on his way. Yet, I know young Elliwood well. His father, Albert, and I are old friends. I have no children of my own, and I've always treasured Elliewood. I do not believe I could look him in the eye, and I could not lie to him. I could not. We have no choice, then. Let us chase the boy away. If you do not speak with him, you need tell no lies. Wait, do you mean to harm Elliewood? Not harm. Frighten. A scratch or two will leave no scars. He will run home to Foray and be done with his adventures. He is, after all, all that Foray has left. <sighs> Instead of entering Laos with such a small group, we should meet with Marquis Santoruz and request his assistance. I see the sense in that. It's a good plan, Advance. Truly so. I tell you again, I'm pleased to have you with us. Lord Hellman, he's not only my father's friend. I've known him since I was a child. I'm sure that he will help us. What? Lord Elliwood, beware! <laughs> Noble sirs, alms for a poor villager. Poor villager? You look nothing like an honest man. Clear the road. Step quickly or... Step quickly? <laughs> Good advice. Maybe it's you who should follow it. What? Someone wants the boy in an early grave. A shame if you ask me, but he'll die here today. Come on boys, earn your keep. Uh... Here we go again, eh, events? Just like old times. Seems our fates are bound. Natalie? Oh, she's still in Furry. I'm working for you this time, so she's not too worried. Guide my axe, advance. Alright, so I just want to see a couple things. Uh, so, Lowen has the Draco Shield. And Barter has the uh, Endearing. <clears throat> Alright. So, um. Looks like we got a. A fort that Barter, Barter can access. With a Steel Axe. Hmm. Alright. Let's go. Let's. Who has more skill? 7 skill, 5 skill, yeah. Bartray is gonna want the, uh... Bartray is going to want the, uh... The Iron Axe. Oh, I miss this game so much. Uh, what? The shop here... Oh, we have 10,000. 
Okay, we want to get this shop here. Uh, the armory, actually. And uh, I have no plans for Rebecca, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna bring her to this village. This spot's not safe. Let's go ahead and give a nice little visit. It's really important to trust your companions, yes? If you have a boon companion fighting at your side, you feel stronger and more confident. Hmm? Who do I think make good companions from... for whom? Well, I am a fortune teller, so I could do a reading, but... Oh, how? Oh, thank you. How nice. I'm just gonna put them next to each other for a nice little bonus. So... Bartra gets hit by it. You've got to be kidding me! Oh wow, interesting. If I can hit him with seven. Oh, not happening. No, Marcus, yeah, Marcus. Marcus does not care. Hmm. He gets doubled. If he hits that, then Loan can do something. Alright, let's go visit first. Hmm? You look like you've some experience with a battle. <laughs> She's level one. No need to conceal it. I've fought many, many a battle in my time, I assure you. Let me tell you one thing about combat, though. The most important thing is technique. If you've no skill, you'll rarely strike your enemy. My instructor gave me this secret book a long ago. It will improve your fighting prowess of the one who reads it. I'm too old to make use of it, so why don't you take it? Secret book! And the secret book gives uh, increased skill by two. And I actually have someone who might be a decent candidate for it. First, I want to feed Elliewood. He crits! Boom! <laughs> Uh, so I get hit by 49, but I land a 12 crit. Fair and balanced. Um, oh no, not that. No, I kind of want to throw a javelin. Oh, so he levels up, and whoever this bandit attacks ends up dying. Ooh, speed. You can never go wrong with speed, guys. And uh, how far can this guy reach out? And a steel lance. I'm just gonna put them side by side here. Bartra can stay here and heal. Yeah, please go for Loen. Zero damage. Loen is a tank. <laughs> bum bum. And here comes the two guys down here. Do, 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 do. Huh, alright, so, um... Yeah, that's not gonna work. Although this, uh, sword would do nice. Uh... Hmm. So... Oh, I almost forgot about you, Rebecca, I'm sorry. Uh, some people like to sell the secret book, but uh, personally from my experience, I know someone who would like it. But um, but first, uh, Dark Ass, if you could kindly sell. Uh, let's give him a Steel Axe, shall we? And uh, I'm just gonna throw Marcus here. Because I'm trying to secure this uh, armory spot here. Hopefully Bartra can maybe help. Elliewood can stand here and guard. Bah! He's put up a good fight for a pampered noble pup. It's time for me to finish him. Oh man, they're really going down that mountain choke point. Hopefully that speed level up gave Loan the ability to double attack. Oh, double attacking is so nice to have. Hmm. <laughs> 
And uh, we'll just watch Marcus slay. Steel axe galore. Doop. Bum bum. Yeah, you're uh, you're not gonna hit him. You're not gonna hurt him. And he'll just use one move on you. But yeah, using Marcus too much. See how little XP he gains. How many are there? This looks... Hey! What's going on over there? Looks like some rough business. You! Soldier! Are you just going to stand there and watch? Who do you think you are? This is Santoru's. What occurs here is no affair of any foreign lordling. I believe I'm going to have to disagree with you. You see that man they're attacking? Happens to be my a friend of mine. A friend? What the... Arr! Sorry, but I'm in a hurry. <laughs> Jesus. Ew, that's terrible. I loathe violence. Nicely done, my lord. You're a fighter born. I cannot condone resorting to force so quickly. Chastise me later, Oswin. First we deal with these brigands. Come, we must help Bellywood. Help Bellywood? Sounds like a convenient excuse for more violence. Oswin? Yes, yes, I'm coming. Matthew. Take Sarah, find some place to hide. What? With Sarah? No, I'm going with you. You are not. You'll slow us down. Oh, how rude. Oswin, let's go. Alrighty. So, we got two new guys, Oswin and Hector. Let's go ahead and start off with Hector. If I can pull up his growths right here. Ah, Hector, our third lord of the game, um, and probably considered one of the best. Maybe not a huge difference in normal mode, but in hard mode you can see uh, a lot more success with this guy. So, Hector, uh, he is, oh I forgot how I, how I usually do this, Marquis Ostia's younger brother. Reckless, but loyal. As we can see, level 1 Lord, he has 19 HP, 7 Strength, 4 Skill, 5 Speed, 3 Luck, 8 Defense, 0 Resistance, 5 Move, 13 Con, and 12 Aid with the Thunder Affinity, which we will get to later when we have the chance. Uh, as for Growths, he has a very nice 90 for HP, a very nice 60 for uh, Strength, uh, okay Skill at 45, pretty low Speed at 35, uh, well, Low luck, 50 defense, which actually isn't terrible, and 25 res, so he's gonna get that very, very slowly. As for as for uh, weapons, I do want to swear now, he has a Axe Mastery level C, so he is our Axe Lord um, of the game, and he comes with his personal weapon, the Wolf Bale, uh, only a range of 1, weight of 10, might of 10. Hit 75, 5% chance of crit, and is effective against infantry, which specifically mean armor knights and cavalry. So, I mean, with this effectiveness and with his 7 strength at level 1, he's gonna hit pretty hard. Uh, maybe slightly inaccurate sometimes, like I said, from my experience, which is why I plan to give him the, uh, the skill book. Um, Hector is amazing because he can use 1 2 range, um, and considering that with the hand axe, and considering that this is a enemy phase heavy game, uh, one two range is probably the best thing to have uh, in Fire Emblem Seven, and the hand axe is what some people consider is the best weapon in Fire Emblem overall. Maybe the javelin close, but uh, the axe is, I guess, it just do more damage or something. All right, so now we move on to Oswin. And he is a level 9 knight already. Oswin, a knight in service to House Ostia, Hector's sworn man. So, as we said, level 9 uh, knight with 28 HP, 13 strength, 9 skill, 5 speed, 3 luck, 13 defense, 3 res, 4 move, 14 con, uh, 13 aid, and is this anima? I think that's Anima Affinity. I should not have said Affinity. Alright, and uh, I never pulled up his growths. I'm sorry. Alright, as for his growths, um, 
they may not seem like much. You see a lot of yellow here. Uh, he's got a 90 in HP, uh, 40 in strength, 30 in skill, 30 in speed, 35 in luck, 55 in defense, and 30 in res. So, um, we don't need to always look at the growths and be like, uh, late game, they're going to be so, 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 so. Just look at, look at the stats. He's already level 9, and he has a strength of 13, a skill of 9, and a defense of 13, so we can probably expect him to hit. Um, Ozern's, uh, what some people say is a noob, like a, how do I say this, like a safe for noobs, I would say, because Osman is really, really good. Even though he's an armor knight, which, uh, which generally aren't the best, um, he still packs a pretty good punch. And that 9 skill is really nice to have. So moving on to uh, uh, here, he has a spear mastery of B, and like I said, he has a, he can use a javelin. 1-2 range is really nice, and especially since Oswin is a knight, he's really physically bulky, so he's not too dangerous to put on the front line and just send a bunch of, uh, send a bunch of units just, uh, hurling down on him. He he's gonna take the hit. Alright, so that has been Oswin and Hector, and, uh, let's move on, shall we? I want to do this. I, I definitely want to give Hector some kills. So, um, might seem a little off. Actually, let's see if, uh... Um... Let's see if... I, I kind of want to do this. 78, 68... If I miss, I miss. I don't care. He hits. It's a steel axe, so it hits a lot worse. But uh, a skill book, I kind of like. Also, I'm just bringing him down here because um, I have a, a lot of uh, things I would prefer to give him. I do want access to that armory. Well, that's less. Bartra. Um, I'm sorry, Dorkass, but uh. About to m make you my guy to just buy a lot of stuff. Loen can stand here and guard. Yeah, he'll be fine. So that's all. Du -du -du -du. Oh, they didn't even go near him. Boss win! <laughs> the nice thing about Oswin is, uh,. He's not a pre-promote like Marcus, so he gains a bit more XP. Oh, this one deals two more damage than the last one. But, uh, it's not gonna matter. Loen is holding the line down there. Rebecca might be in danger, though. Alright, so I kind of want to bring Oswin down here. Can we carry Oswin? No, we cannot carry Oswin. Oh, we can. Just gonna go ahead and uh, maybe give up some uh, positioning. Right now, I know, I understand. This looks like a mess, but um. It's just what I uh, want to do. Ooh, okay, so um, so I have uh, iron sword, iron axe. Definitely want to give to Hector. All right, so iron axe, uh, iron sword. So two iron axes, iron sword, and two iron lances. I think that was it. Two lances for, uh, one for Marcus, so he doesn't kill everything, even though he probably will. And one for Loen, because he just has Javelin. Sword for Eliwood, and Axe for Hector. We'll just leave this one alive, let him chase us. We had a nice little talk conversation. Actually, um, hold on. 
I'll do this. Take that. See if we can talk and trade. That would be nice. Elliewood! Are you alright? Hector? What do you do? Later. First, let's take care of these lots. Right. I probably should have traded and talked first. That was kind of dumb of me. But yeah, we've got a we got a line we can assemble here. Yeah, he's just gonna chase us, but it's not even gonna matter. All right, so um, give you both the iron lances. Yeah, see, yeah, he's just gonna kill everything. Uh, let's see here. We got a lot of axe guys, so... Give him an iron lance. Give him a steel sword. I kind of want to build a little wall here. Using a little bit of, uh... Advanced Wars tactics. Now I want to give Loan the fort, because Oswin... Oswin's probably the better candidate to take hits. More speed again. I have a. I'm, I might get a fast low in if uh, this keeps up. Uh, Rebecca, can you reach? No, you can't reach. Please say, please say, please say, please say, please say. Ooh. Would have been nice though. Would have been nice. Yeah, see, Oswin's fine without the fort. If that 1% crit ever happened, he would still take 0 damage, because 0 times 3 is 0. So yeah, um... Give me that axe. Better hit. Preserve Wolf Bale. Uh, what's safe for? Uh, so this is safe for Rebecca. She can do some chip damage, and hopefully give Hector the skill book. Loan's on a fort, so I don't know if he would have taken at least one or two damage. That fort, that fort's saving him. That boss is coming. Ooh. It's just two damage. He'll survive. Bum bum. My guy! <laughs> you, you, you're joking, right? Can I get to that fort? No, I cannot. Alright, um... Dark ass, I'll go ahead and let you cover our flank. Dark ass has my respect. As a character. As a unit, maybe not the best? Okay, I want to do something here. I want to... Trade... Oh wait, no, he can't use... He can't get the skill book and do at the same time. No, Rebecca! Oh wait, no, that does not kill. Hmm. Yeah, this should help. Nope. Not happening. <laughs> Why is who has more evade? Avoid eight, avoid eight. They have the same. So uh Elliewood can go ahead and strike that one down. Wait. Oh, it's just a mercenary guy, okay. Yeah, same, 76. <laughs> Something really funny happens if uh, Hector actually misses. If we see it, I'll tell you. Okay, so can I reach over there? I want Loan to stand here with a sword. Trade the secret book to Hector. I still don't know what to do with the rapier and such. Can I make these two stand here? 
that would be fine together like so. I want Marcus to stand here for very specific reasons. And yeah, let's see how this guy does. Curses! What are you waiting for? Let me show you boys how it's done. 14 hit! Wonderful. And uh, yay! Double O and I don't know what that was. It, it, it feels so dumb to like just try to think of random ways to kill all these characters. Ooh, I hit a 10. Yikes, that looks like that hurts. Hmm. That feels a bit risky. I'll just go ahead and give Loan the kill. Oh, uh, this was not so easy as it seemed. Loan levels up again. And. Oh, no speed, but he's got skill and luck. Oh, what? No, I meant to trade. You gotta be kidding me. Oh well. Eh, could be worse. I'm messing up my keys. Probably should have given the hand axe to Hector. I plan to eat. I plan to have Hector use the hand axe. 59 hit. Yeah, maybe we ought to give him some room. <laughs> Yeah, we ought to give him room. Uh, actually, yeah, you have two iron lances. Oh, I can't put you back in the forest. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, this is what I wanted to show you. Support. And he can support Elliewood. Ah, Elliewood. It's good to see you're still well. Hmm? You expected otherwise? No, of course not. I knew you'd be fine. Hector, wait for a moment. What did you want? Nothing. It's enough to see that you, you live and are still fighting. Just wanted to make sure you weren't overdoing it with me not around. I should say the same to you. Me? Don't worry about me. I'm fine. I'm built tough, you know. A little too much is just enough for me. But you... You've never been a hardy one, Hollywood. Nor are you used to travel. Go on too long and you'll collapse. We're all weaklings compared to you, Hector. Thankfully, wars are not won by strength alone, eh? We've been sparring once every two months since we were 12. And, every, and of the 30 matches, 14 I won, 12 I lost, and 4 were draws. Eh? I think not, if I, I recall 31 matches, and even 13-13 split with 5 draws. Yes, well you recall wrong, I'm in the right. <laughs> and what makes you so certain? Whose snoring was it that shook the rafters in numbers class? Ah, good point. Still, on touch you were worried about me. Now, back to the fray. Hey, wait, blast. So yeah. So if you're wondering uh, how you're going to uh, characterize these characters, how these characters can develop, um, if you have two char two certain characters stand next to each other, you can get their uh, lore. Although not every single character can support every other character, like uh, some of the later Fire Emblem entries. But uh, yeah, if uh, you use context clues, pay attention to the story, uh, you can now see that um, Elliewood now has a bond with Hector. They, it, it goes from C to A, and they can only go up to 5. So you can have 1A and 2Cs, or 1A and 2Bs. A is the max, and I would probably go for 
the A if you can. I already have support set up in my head after playing this game for so long, so uh, you do not need to worry about me. Ah, oh, no! You've got to be kidding me. I did not give him a skill book. All right, let's see who you go for. Wait, is this all? Yeah. Probably gonna die. All right. Assuming he cannot kill. All right, so we get to end this chapter on, on our terms. Uh, yeah, so first off, uh, skill book. Now he's got a skill of six. Which isn't the greatest, but it's something I'd like him to have. And, uh, who could use a level up? <laughs> Ellie Wood could use a level up. And, um, the way supports work, they, they boost certain, uh, certain bonds. It's like certain stats. Uh, you can find it on Wikipedia pages online. And if they are within three tiles close to them, they will gain the benefit. So if I do here, uh, 87, 88. Crit 4. Crit 2. Here, you can see, uh, I know Thunder gives a bit of crit, so... So when he's far away from Hector, he gets a crit of 2. When he's a bit closer, he gets a crit of 4. And they will add up over time. So... <laughs> Hector with the crits for Ellie Wood! <laughs> oh, what a saucy way to end it. And... Hey, everyone's getting speed nowadays, huh? Do, 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 do. Oh, is that all of them? Hector, where did you come from? Well, well met, Tellywood. Yes, but why? Are, what are you doing here? You wound me. <laughs> How do you mean? You're looking for your father, right? Why did you? Why didn't you send word? Your brother was just named Marquis Sassi, huh? He's going to be very busy setting up his court council. Lord Uther must need your support. You are his brother, after all. My brother is not so weak. Oh, he has mentioned some things in public, but... He knew exactly what I was planning, and he let me go. Is that so? Well then, it would be unwise to refuse his kindness. It does me good to see you, Hector. Thank you. Think nothing of it. You know Oswin, don't you? Well met, Lord Elliwood. It is good to see you again, Oswin. So you came as well. Yes, Lord Uther was worried about Lord Hector traveling alone. I've been ordered to keep a close eye on him. <laughs> of course. Good to have you with us. Lord Hector! Why didn't you tell me the fighting was done? I apologize for the interruption. I couldn't restrain her any longer. <laughs> oh, couldn't you? Are these your companions, Hector? Oh. Yes, I suppose they are. One might have hoped for better, but... That was uncalled for! I can't believe you said that! Matthew, did you just... Did you hear what he said about you? <laughs> Me? Who's talking about you? Hector, why don't you introduce us? The noisy one is Sarah. Believe it or not, she's a cleric. Yes, I am Sarah, my lord. Pleased to meet you. And that's Matthew. He does a lot of sneaking around. My lord? Sneaking around. Well, I uh, gather information, open doors, chests and such. I've got a nibble fingers. That sounds like a thief's work. Well, no, don't let it worry you. But this journey, I suspect it will be harder than you imagine. You may have to accept things like this if you want to survive. What is it, Hector? Do you know something? Nothing specific. Rumors abound, though. A league of assassins from Burn has, be has been moving around in Lycia. Experienced bounty hunters and mercenaries are vanishing. That reminds me. One of the men who attacked us said something odd. What was it? Lord Elliwood, if I may. Marcus, good to see you. Lord Hector, it's been far too long. Your assistance is greatly appreciated. Come now, Marcus, no need for such formalities. Tell me what you heard. Of course, the apparent leader of that gang of thugs. He indicated that someone was watching Lord Elliwood. That someone needed him dead. Hmm. That is troubling. Actually, a captain of the guard was watching the fight when we arrived. He was a knight of Santoru's, and yet he just stood there and let a lord be attacked. I think he was planning on seeing you die. Ooh. So, Advance, what do you what do you think? 
34 minutes. Oh, no. 35 minutes. Yikes. You might be right. Something may have happened to Lord Hellman, too. Come, we must hurry to the castle. Elliwood, who is this? This is Advance. I required tactical aid in search for my father, and... Oh, I see. So this is who directed the battle plan back there, hmm? You know, Advance, you're very young. We have many strategists in Ostia, but none so young. Elliwood, are you sure about this one? Advance is still a student of military strategy, but we've received nothing but sound advice so far. <laughs> oh, only for the time being. Advance has my trust. Alright, I suppose I shall witness your skills firsthand. Well met, Advance. Hello! How have you been, Advance? Eh, my secrets revealed? Oh, that. Yes, it's true. My guise as a common thief was but a ruse. I've served House Ostia for some time as a spy of sorts. Surprise? Well, regardless, it looks like we'll be traveling together again. Here's to our mutual survival. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> Advance! Is it really you? It's been far too long. You missed me, didn't you? Oh, of course you did. I knew it. Hmm? Didn't I tell you before? I'm in the employ- I'm in the employ of Ostia. This is ruling territory. I'll be here to help you just like before. Aren't you lucky? All right. Let me just uh, let me just save this here. Holy crap! I spent almost forty minutes of your time just talking about a single chapter. But um, yeah, this has been uh, Fire Emblem Blazing Blade, uh, chapter twelve. Uh, next time we will see chapter 13 looks like this plot's kind of thickening and we at least have our third lord finally show up so uh let's see if uh let's see if hector can pull the weight that i uh, suspect him to do which he probably would but um thank you guys uh, so much for watching this has been advanced warrior you all have my warmest regards please take care